Oh, there are two different kinds of plankton out there. Those tiny spiders have like a fake skin in the water. And one kind is a planter out like plankton called phytoplankton. And that is what's moving from this water. That green is the color today. And that's really important because it's actually providing about 50% of the oxygen we breathe every day. So that phytoplankton is important for us and important for a lot of the animals that are in there as well. Now this habitat here is made to represent an area in the northern part of Washington. I put it up here on the map. It's called Mia Bay. And it's an area that has a lot of cold water moving quickly, bringing a lot of nutrients to the surface of upwelling. So really an important area and the ecosystem that we're looking at here. Now, Carrie, there's also some other types of plankton, some animal plankton. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Um, lots of different types of animals actually start their life out as plankton. A great example is right here on the window. The sea star originally started out as a tiny microscopic organism, but when it in the ocean, one day 